and welcome to Legal Update Live for May of 2011. I'm Tracy Rucka, the Director of Professional Standards and Practices here at the Wisconsin Realtors Association. And with me today, we have Debbie Conrad, who is our Senior Attorney and Director of Legal Affairs. And today, our update we're going to talk about is about REO, or Real Estate Owned Transactions. As you know, with the market that we're in, if you haven't had an REO listing yet, you may have one soon. And so this update deals with the, just a wide breadth of issues that might help you through an REO deal. So we're going to start with uh, kind of overcoming some of the pitfalls maybe. Deb, do you want to say for the listing broker what some of those pitfalls may be and what they can do to have successful transactions? Sure, Tracy. Um, a lot of times REO properties may turn out to be vacant, so the asset manager may ask the listing broker to perform what are essentially property management services. That's why we sometimes refer to the REO listing broker as the accidental property manager, because that asset manager may want the broker to put the utilities in their name or to secure the property, hire repairmen, that sort of thing. I guess as a listing broker, I would want to make sure that there's nothing accidental about that and make sure you have a separate property management agreement or language in your listing contract that spells out very specifically who has responsibilities to do what. Because the real kicker is when it comes to, to payment and sometimes the asset manager wants the broker to advance funds and with the promise that they're going to be reimbursed later on. Well, if they don't, then that's a very serious problem. So please work with your brokers, your attorneys, what have you, and get some good language in place to protect you in that kind of a case. Um, Tracy, what about cooperating brokers? Well, I think in REO transactions, uh, I think it's really important actually that all the brokers work well together. And one of the things that you want to do as a cooperating broker is up front get any seller addenda or offers that are going to be used in that transaction and have your buyer review those, have your buyer work with legal counsel as necessary. Because as licensees, you know, we're supposed to be using state approved forms, but if you do have these REO list, um, addenda or offers, make sure that legal counsel is involved because you don't want to engage in the unlicensed practice of law. Plus, those addenda tend to shift the burden for legal issues, for inspection issues, and you want the buyer to be well informed and well educated when they go into this transaction. And one of the other things that we're hearing, and I just want to be really um, kind of just identify it, if you're working with buyers on an REO deal, just because that property is vacant doesn't authorize you to access that property without authority, and in no circumstances do you ever want to have a buyer have an unattended showing. You know, access to those properties, you still need to get consent from the listing brokers. So that's just one of those things we're hearing uh, that's happening out there. So just again, get proper access and don't let those buyers in on their own. Uh, Deb, for the buyers, a couple things for them to consider. What would you? Um, a lot of times buyers think that they're going to get a bargain deal, but that may not be the case and they need to be very, very careful. Um, they need, first of all, as Tracy mentioned, they probably have a contract that has an REO addendum that takes away a lot of the rights and remedies that they would otherwise enjoy here in Wisconsin, so you need to be real careful. They need to be careful to make sure they thoroughly inspect those properties and get estimates of whatever repairs or improvements are going to be needed to bring that property to the level where they want it. The other red flag is title issues, and the buyers may think that because it was a foreclosure, because it's owned by a lender, that the title is going to be fine. No, that's not true. There's been cases where they went to closing and the lender didn't have title to even sell the property. The other problem with that is the asset managers work with out-of-state title companies who know nothing about Wisconsin law. So try to make sure that you alert your buyers and that they get proper help with those title issues. All right, well those are some of the things to consider. This up update takes you into the world of REO transactions. It's available on our website at www.wra.org forward slash legal updates. This update and all of our updates are there 24-7. And we thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again next month.